Good morning ladies and gents, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2018 on an 18 plate. It is the Nissan NV300, 1.6 DCI. Quite a rare bit of kit this is, isn't it, with the Nissan badge on it. I mean, obviously we all know uh, Nissan, Renault Traffic, Vauxhall, Vivaro, even the Fiat uh, wears this badge. Um, but this one is pretty rare with the old Nissan badge in it. It is the long wheelbase, so the L2 long wheelbase version with the H1 low roof. It's a one keeper from new vehicle. It has got 86,000 warranted miles on it. Great specification van actually, to be fair. So you've got electric windows, mirrors, aircon, DAB, FM, AM, Bluetooth, telephone, Bluetooth, music. You've got the front fog lights. You've got the color coded bumpers. You've got the reverse parking sensors. So in real terms, if you're looking at this, you're looking at same equivalent specification as a Traffic Business Plus or a Vivaro Sportive. Um, now, as I say, it's one keeper from new, 86,000 warranted miles. It's in good all-round condition. There are a couple of minor little bits and pieces. And the purpose of our videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle. <coughs> Excuse me. So that you know exactly what it is that you're buying. The vast majority of our customers will actually buy the van having watched this video, leave a deposit and come and collect or leave a deposit and get a quote for, for delivery. So there's a couple of different options that you've got there, okay? Um, now let's get started, shall we? And we'll have a look up here on the roof. Now it has arrived in with no roof rack on it. You've probably got a better viewpoint of that roof than I have, but as you can see, we have kind of balloted it and uh, there doesn't appear to be any damage up there. Coming down onto your front windscreen, the front windscreen is in good all round condition. There are no major stone chips that are going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time, of which we will put 12 months on it before it goes out the door. Coming down to the bonnet, bonnet in overall good condition. Now there are a couple of minor little marks here. So we've got a little ding there. I will get the dead man to have a look at it, but it is right on that swage line. I'm not convinced he'll be able to do much with it, but we can always try, can't we? Um, no major stone chipping on it. Obviously you always get just the minor, minor stuff. Down to your front grills and your front bumper. Those are in good condition with no major damage. There is a towing eye cover missing here, so we will get one ordered up and fitted for you. Around to your passenger side headlamp unit, that's in good order. And then coming down to your passenger side front fog light, front bumper corner, that's all in good order as well. If we look down the side profile of the van from this angle, a couple of things to note. I'm battling the sunshine a bit this morning, so this side's in the shadow. Um, but have a look down you can see there's a nice reflection to the paintwork so that shows you it's got a nice polished finish to it there is a minor little ding on the sliding jaw just there that should be a fairly simple dent man job and there is another one just up here on the rear quarter i'll show you that when i get around there again hasn't broken the paint it's another should be another simple dent man job as well round to the driver's side driver's side headlamp unit that's all good and your driver's side front bumper corner again that's all good as is your front fog light and again look down the driver's profile of the van from this angle and you can see again this side has a nice uh, polished reflection to the paintwork and there is nothing really much to show we've got a little bit of something just here on the quarter i'll show it to you when we get round to there so you can make up your own mind driver's side front wing with side repeater all present and correct driver's side front steel wheel with a nissan hubcap on there we have a Got on there a rapid uh, tire so that's a budget brand that tire plenty of tire tread depth as you can see there where we are with tires anything less than three millimeters we replace the legal limit being 1.6 mirror cover and upper and lower mirrors are all in good order your driver's side door glass is all good and just coming back and showing you the rest of the driver's door all looking neat and tidy as well Door handle, etc., is all good. Have a look at your door edges. Door edges are in good order. There's no significant damage or wear or tear to them. Getting down low, just check out your lower sills. Take note, we clean them properly. They're all in good order. No damage to those. Your mid quarter, I said about a little bit something on the mid quarter. So you've just got like a little outy ding there. I don't think there's a lot we can do about that, to be fair. Um, so 
take it that that will be there. But your mid quarter on the whole, as you can see, good overall condition. Your protective strip going down the side of the vehicle, have a look at that and you can see that's in good order with no real marks on there. Driver side rear quarter, as you can see, upper and lower. Those are both in good condition. Nothing really to point out to you. Your driver's side steel wheel has a factory Nissan hubcap on it, has a good year tire on that one. And that tire has plenty of tire tread depth, as you can see there. Having a look down the driver's profile of the van from this angle, just giving you another viewpoint of the side of the van. Nice reflection in the paintwork. It looks very respectable, doesn't it? And actually, let me just give you an overview of the side of the van by standing back here. As you can see, it looks very neat and tidy and presentable van, doesn't it? Good one to turn up at a customer's house in. Upper quarter or upper corners, I should say. Rear light unit, all good. Rear fog light and reverse light, all good. And then rear bumper corners, all good with no scuffing. Round to the back of the van, you have a 50-50 split on your barn doors. And again, this, with this being the working end of the vehicle, it's actually in pretty good condition to be fair. So high level brake lights, all good. We've got a little touch in that's required there. But as we come down the door edges, take note of those, all in pretty good condition. You've got the standard mark here. Every Vivaro NP3 and NV300 and everything that you'll see will have that mark on it because if you don't close the door in the right order, that's where the hinge inside hits the door. Um, pass, uh, sorry, driver's side, all looking good. And then there's just a close-up of your passenger side as well. Door handle's looking good. Rear bumper is uncolor coded It has reverse parking centers and rear reflectors in it, which are in good order. There are some wear and tear marks on the rear bumper. Nothing of any real kind of worrying significance. Um, obviously, it's a used van that's done a job, isn't it? But yeah, it's all looking pretty good. Now, bulkhead. Bulkhead, actually, no major dents or dings. It's just a bit scratched. Um, your ply lining kit inside, actually in pretty good condition. It's done a job, but it's all pretty good, to be fair. Same with the flooring. It's done a job, but all pretty good. Inside of the rear doors. Got some fairly excessive ply lining on the inside of the rear doors, to be fair. They've done a job, again, you know, it's a bit, there's a, there's a few wear and tear marks in there. Uh, it's not been carrying fresh air, this one. It has been doing a job, but it's all pretty good. Now, you do have the load hatch on your bulkhead there, which gives you additional load length through to underneath your passenger front seat. Passenger side corner. Coming down it, you can see light units all good. Reverse and fog lights all good. And there is just a scuff on this corner here. As you can see, it's in the black plastic bit. Not a lot we can do about that. A little bit of wear and tear there, I'm afraid. Um, but I don't think it really stands out. If you're standing back here, you can see it's not a standout item, is it? Now, looking down the passenger side of the vehicle here again, just giving you another viewpoint. The side of the van. Now, I was talking about a ding here. We have got this one here. Can you see it here? maybe just a really minor one there so i think the dent man should be able to do something with that we'll we'll let him have a go at it and see what happens yeah so upper quarter all good sorry upper quarter has those dings in it lower quarter all good we have factory steel wheel with a factory hubcap on it we have another what we got there a uh, maxis tire there so a budget tire that tire has plenty of tire tread depth on it um round to your sliding door Upper part all good, lower part all good, door handles good. Getting down low, check out your sills, they're nice and clean and no significant damage to them. The protective strip going down the side of the vehicle, again, all in pretty good order to be fair. And then opening up your sliding door, that opens up, slides back nicely and holds into place on the catch as you would expect it to. Your door shuts, as you can see, clean and tidy entry seals and plastics not in bad order another viewpoint of the inside of the vehicle here there's your hatch that i was on about so that just opens up it's on magnetics so that just gives you that additional load length 
there's just another viewpoint of the inside of the van there as well okay sliding door as you can see slides back and closes properly hang on a second we haven't finished the outside yet sorry um passenger window all good passenger door handle and lock all good your door edges on this door are all fine and dandy as well mirror upper and lower good mirror cover all good and then passenger side front wing with side repeaters all good as well passenger side front steel wheel factory hubcap and another budget tire with plenty of tire tread depth on it we stand back and give you an overview of the passenger side and you can see she looks nice and respectable doesn't she right inside the cabin this is your living area isn't it lads so passenger side door card again all good your door bins are nice and clean speaker covers are good door shuts are clean and tidy as well entry seals and plastics not in bad order here is your diesel filler and your add blue filler for fuck's sake don't excuse me for for god's sake don't get those mixed up I don't know how you edit that one out. Glove box, book pack, um, air vents all looking good, top of the dashboard all good as well, headlining all looking nice, and your seat trim as you can see, the anthracite black seat trim, actually in the video, god these iPhone cameras do me no bloody favours whatsoever, so they look dirtier on the iPhone than they do in real life, you've got storage under there as you can see, um, so they have been cleaned maybe they just haven't dried very well we'll give them a run over before they go it doesn't look that bad have a look on the photos the iPhone camera is like some kind of x-ray machine for dirt um, would have been good if I'd actually pulled the bonnet wouldn't it um, so um, yeah it doesn't look like that in real life really but the, the bloody video camera shows it as being dirty um, and then under here we have somewhere i've just had it open for the photos the video has suddenly not gone very slick oh my god oh my god jeez hang on a second i'm gonna have to pause that okay so we'll have edited these back together i'm no steven spielberg so when you're trying to open up the bonnet don't look this side look on the right hand side there's your little bonnet pull now there's your overview of looking underneath the bonnet. It's all looking neat and tidy, isn't it? Um, we have. So we'll patch this video together again. Amazing how people speak to you whilst you're making a video. There we go. Uh, anyway, brake fluid, power steering fluid, one of the two. Brake fluid, power steering fluid. Brake fluid, power steering fluid. There we go. Oil filler. There is your coolant. Great colour coolant for Vivaro. No contamination in it. Your air box is on the left hand side. Your windscreen wash filler is there. Somewhere along here, we've got your dipstick down here. Um, and just try and show you under there. Difficult with the camera, isn't it? But yeah, there we go, we're looking good. Uh, bonnet bolts, all the original paintwork on there, as you can see. And then. <clears throat> Inside, door card, let's take the price board out of the way. Door cards all looking pretty neat and tidy. Door bins are all clean and tidy. Speaker covers are electric windows, electric mirrors there. A little bit of uh, wear on the door handles, fairly standard that is on these vehicles. Door shuts are all pretty good. Entry seals and plastics again, all pretty good. Flooring inside is all pretty good to be fair. As the camera adjusts, you can see there's no big hole in the floor. Pedal rubbers are good. And then seat height adjustment here. Driver's side seat, actually in pretty good order. Sometimes they've hold there, especially at this sort of mileage, but this one's all good. Shows it obviously wasn't a multi-stopper. Um, dashboard illumination, headlamp levelers, electronic stability program, turn off your parking sensors. Vents all working fine. Buttons on the end of this stalk run you through your computer system on the dashboard. We have wipers on this stalk as well. We have your remote control for your stereo. In fact, let's just buy it up and have a look. There you go. And I'll just get into the van a second. 
Top of the dashboard, that's all clean and tidy. And DAB FM AM, air conditioning. You don't have a heated rear window, I think it's for mirrors. We have a 12 volt power there as well. You have a USB power up there, and then you have another USB power there. Fence, all present and correct. Left hand stalk does your lights and your indicators. Eco button makes it slightly less powerful, but more, more economical. Uh, and then we have a six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear all the way to the left and forward, and that'll engage your parking sensors. Has a warning light, central locking here, cup holder here as well. Probably the most useless cup holder, I don't know. Would you want to leave your cost on there? Who knows? In between the seats there, clean and tidy, no old McDonald's down there or anything. And interior lights and all looking pretty good and there we go my friends um, as i fall out the van so there are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country offering you nationwide delivery part exchange and finance feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com are you worried about who you're buying off Always good to do your homework, so check us out. We are on Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Reviews are on there, uh, presence is on there. Um, and that's it, folks. Now, if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest vans as we video them, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, folks. If you have kind of sleeping issues at night, always good, bang one of my videos on, send you off to sleep, no problem at all. There we go, there's about 15 minutes for your life, you're never gonna get back, but if you are interested in this van, it will give you a very good indication of exactly what it is you're buying. Thanks very much for watching, speak to you later, cheers, bye.